to my Photoshop signature tutorial. Um, after watching this video, you should be able to know more about how to make a decent signature that you'll be able to use online or whatever. So let's get started. Um, what we do is open new canvas, and I'd like to make mine 360 by 130. Well, it's up to you, however big you want yours. But I find this size is pretty good for me. And what I do to create my backgrounds is use different renders. Um, right now I've got these. This will this will be my main picture for my sig. And these would be used for creating the background. Um, uh, to start off my sig, what I do is I make a gradient right at the right beginning. It's easier to work with. So what you do is pick two colors from any of the renders. I picked my colors from here, a red and a blue. So what we do is we go to our canvas and select the gradient tool and choose gradual gradient and just just make a gradient um let's reverse that that looks pretty good um okay what we do next is uh look through your renders and find like a nice something that looks alright that you could use as like an effect this looks pretty good just drag it in and look for cool looking parts like that looks actually okay that's not bad um, delete the text there uh, what, you, what I do is, is start smudging. So all we do is choose a smudge tool and use whatever brush you like. But I like to create my own brushes for smudging, and this is the one I'll be using now. Uh, just start smudging, basically. Well, actually, it's better to first duplicate your layer because we might be able to use the original one later so duplicate and smudge just smudge everything out like so and once you've done that you set it to linear dodge and you duplicate that and set that to color dodge just gives a nice sort of effect and then you can use your the main one put it at the front and if you set that to color dodge as well get a nice effect sort of thing um, look for your other renders and look for a another decent part that you could use um, this has an okay part same render I can use that we delete some parts delete parts you don't need make sure you have a sense of flow while you're doing this like I'm trying to make my whole sig flow this way makes it look better the result will also be better of course 
what you do is just smudge that as well just smudge it all out and set that to overlay it will give it more of like some depth and look for more parts like other renders let's, let's see that's our main one hmm. this will work well like drag them on maybe resize hold shift so stays in proportion just place them anywhere well actually this I think we can use them to make the sig a bit darker if we just place them where we want to be darker like here and smudge them out it's mostly using smudging to create my sigs quite an effective tool okay once you've smudged it out if you set to overlay it should darken everything yeah. if you want it to be darker maybe just duplicate that yeah that's a bit too dark maybe move it about a bit smudge out the straight line okay what we want now is to get more cool looking parts that we can we'll give the sig some flow and maybe some depth uh, we can use this one mm, yeah that looks if you just drag that in find a nice looking part That looks pretty good. Yep. <coughs> okay. And Maybe we can use something to make it stand out. A hard light looks pretty good. Okay. And what we want to do now is add our main render. Ah, this looks a bit too dark. Yeah, I think I might delete that. Oops. Just keep this part. Yeah, it looks a bit bad. Okay. So yeah, what we're going to do now is um, add the main render, the one which should be your main picture. And for me, that's this. You just drag it on and what we want to do is resize, hold down shift and just place him how you want him. This part here makes the red part looks like it would make a good light source. So since the light is coming from this side, I could just place him here. Okay, 